Nick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the BYU Cougars. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Cougars should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Next, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Well, that stat at the end could be a big one. And lastly, think your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. He'll regroup the offense. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Tries for two. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Trying to pack it inside. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And you know what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Second one, no good. Nice rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the pass break. Nice high post screen. Left of the circle. Nice shot. Fed the low block. Takes the pass in the paint. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the win. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. On the outside, number 32 with the fake. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. In the paint. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Inside, the center receives the pass. Tries to get the D to bite. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Number 30 receives the ball. Off the rim and no good. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Puts up the shot. The Yellow Jackets have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. 
Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Doesn't go. Look at that spacing. Number three handles the pass. There's the pick. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Number 44 handles the feed. There's the fake. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Five second call approaching. He takes the three, way off target. Inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Georgia Tech are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Goes in. They're working around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Knocks it down. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. For two, they're getting no good looks at the hoop tonight, Dick. I don't know what they're doing, but they're squandering away all those easy looks underneath. Fakes a jumper. Double team now, bad angle. Number 30 comes up with it. They get out on the break. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Off the rim and no good. Both teams looking to get things going here. Gave it up. He tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. And he'll kick it back outside from three-point territory. Too strong. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. He shoots from downtown. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Playing for the steal. He hit the deuce, and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. Offensively, I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. 
<laughs> He's pounding the ball with his neck. Where's he going? Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? It's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Boy, terrible act. He makes the block. Here they go into the break. From right in the circle, makes the shot. The skip pass is picked off. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Up and inside. He strokes it. Great shot. We got to see that one again. Time to pick up the defense here now. Number 20 steals the ball. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. On the outside. Goes up for two, and in and out. On the dribble, gives it up, puts it on the floor, and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Momentary look from three-point land. There he is, strips the ball loose. Pump face. Number 30 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. And off the mark. There they come with a double team to stop it. From way outside. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Both teams looking to get things going here. Looking for a good shot. Number 23 is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. They'll work it around the arc. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Scorches the net. That's an eight-nothing run. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. That's spacing. 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step, a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He fires it up, way off target. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates. Dick, he's doing it all and then some. Well, this is a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. We're about ready to start things up again. Jumped in front to take it away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside, he unloads a three. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Gave it up. Did a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Number three steps to the line for the first time. First shot is good. And there they miss one. Secures the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up for two. Doesn't go. Puts it up, looking for contact. Here's a flash from the post up high. From downtown, off the rim and no good. Turnaround jumper, way off target. That spin move's not gonna work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Ten seconds on the shot clock. With a little baby hook, BYU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby.
Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the ball goes out of play. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He's got a high post flasher. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Up fake. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He launches a three. Can't get it to go. about the shot. That's a high post screen close to the lane. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Side. From three-point range. Gets it to fall. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Fakes the shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. And a momentary look from three-point land. He drains the shot. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up, and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Pushes it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From the top of the key, way off target. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from outside. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Cougars are ahead by two. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half.
Georgia Tech seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Erin. Working it around the perimeter. Turnaround jumper, and he missed. Up and inside. Goes for the deep one. He gets the bucket to fall. He uses the shot fake. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the rim and no good. He blocks the shot. The point guard with the ball. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. On the outside. For the bucket. And in and out. The point guard takes the pass. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Number 10 takes the pass in the paint. Pressure that basketball. And one too many dribbles and a steal. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. On the dribble, gives it up. guard takes the feed he shoots from the top of the key it'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there that young man is doing it all for his team right now he's obviously carrying his team Brad his teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively and look at the facial expression
Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Three. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. BYU are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Look at that spacing. Up it inside. The three. He hits the shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts it up. There was no doubt about that one. The Cougars are trailing by six. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. Watch out, five-second call approaching. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. is ripped away. He broke out just in time. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. It's no good. Kicks it out. There's the fake. A high screw and the shot blocks. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Step out on that screener. He makes the shot. For two. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. He throws it up from downtown. It's good. Takes the pass in the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picked out of the air. The shooting guard gets the pass. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Got the high pick. 
from the top of the circle. Not there. And he'll kick it back outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gave it up. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to draw the foul. He buries it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 23 draws the personal. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Makes them both. There's a high screen. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. Well, I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Strips the ball. Turn around jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Gave it up. The center gets the ball. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number 23 makes a great move to draw the foul. Two shots. Gets it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. High post screen. From left of the circle, he gets the bucket. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respects of saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Way off target. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket. That's good. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Goes up for two. Doesn't go.
Steals the pass. They get it out into transition. Backcourt violation called. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locked it out of the box. I'll tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Dump it inside. In the paint, looking for contact. Good. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking for a good shot. That's a nice fake. They'll work it around the arc. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. On the outside. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He lets it fly. He nails the shot. This one might go down to the final buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Yellow Jackets lead by six. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. They still don't score. off the pass. He fires away. That's good. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? Three. Nice shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He steps up to the line. Makes his first. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Sinks it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when the guy is open. That's a special heart. Feet in the post. There's the pick. There. It's a hand in the way. And a momentary look from three point land. Takes the shot. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. On the outside. 
leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He gets the board. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But enough falling and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Number 50 is charged with the foul. Fifth team foul. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. He'll go to the line. Hits that one. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He misses the second. Pulls down the board. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Intercepted. Number 23 is pounded on his way up. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Hits the second shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Great block shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Got to take some flight on the defensive end. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from long range. Rims out. The Yellow Jackets have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Here's a double team. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thin, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. Rims out. Working it around the perimeter. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. He hits his second. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And drains it. And the clock stopped with a foul. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. 
It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Look at that space again. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. here after the timeout. And Dick, that puts the lead at nine. Nine points is surmountable. This is the time to start jacking threes. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Gives it up. He dials long distance. He gets that one to fall. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Pushes it up. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams play pretty well, and you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. BYU fought the good fight, but they still come up short. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.